What's up YouTube, it's your boy Stans here and welcome back to a brand new Pixelmon video coming from the Poke Mayhem Network. Of course we are on the server, uh, the Neo server in fact, continuing our story. Uh, last episode we got our 8th and final badge so now it's time to head for the Elite Four. However, something tells me that our run-ins with Team Plasma and our run-ins with Team Rocket aren't just over yet. Uh, but before we get into today's episode, I'd like to remind you all to drop a like on the video if you enjoy it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Turn on those notifications so you never miss an upload. And of course, follow me over on Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash noleaksluis so you never miss any live content. I stream a bunch of variety games over there from Pokemon to story-based games and things like that. So hopefully you guys uh, want to check me out over there. And of course, that link and the rest of my socials are in the description below. So it's easy for you all to find me. And finally, to the people who support the server by purchasing goods for the web store, make sure to use my code STANS10 to save 10% off your total order. All parties involved benefit, and I appreciate all the support. And with all that stuff out of the way, let's get started. So, uh, like every episode, we always start off by doing forward slash log. We are on chapter 12 now. Page 1 says head to bris head into uh, Brissa Cape via the main road. Now, uh, last episode, we got a little bit of information from the gym leader that told us that all we have to do is head north. Um, make sure to stop by and say hi to Graham later. Cool, there's not really much for us to say there. I won't repeat it, looks like it. But we all do have to go uh, down north. So I'm going to make that walk. I'm not going to take you guys with you. So I'll see you guys in the jump cut. Alright, so I'm heading to Brisa, Brisa Cape. And I ran into someone with, uh, I guess, a little bit of dialogue. So let's see. Quite a lovely day, isn't it? Well, it's uh, it was. The woman up ahead started hollering about her Pokemon being stolen. Ooh, so there's someone over here that got their Pokemon stolen. Oh, yeah, there's cops around. I told you this story about um, Team Rocket and uh, Team Plasma. I told you. like It's not over just yet. So uh, you, Officer, Officer Jenny, this, gotta be a, uh, this has got to be the cr uh, culprit. The criminal always returns to the scene of the crime. You better give me back our Pokemon or you're going to regret it. Well, should you play me bleed? I'm out. Later. No, I'm kidding. Let's talk to Officer Jenny. Of course, we are more competent than the police in the Pokemon world. We are going to save the day like we always do. Let's talk to Officer Jenny. You sure have a lot of uh, gal coming back here after stealing some valuable Pokemon. You're not really the thief? A likely story. That's what they all say. I'm going to have to ask you to come to the station for investigation. Okay, so is that what I have to do next? Is head to the... Uh... Speak to Officer Jenny in the police station. So I have to keep going. I'm pretty much already there, which is okay. I'll meet you guys back at the police station. Before going to the police station, though, we, of course, got to unlock the warp. Make things easier for us now. But, of course, this is the Pokemon Center. I have to find the police station. All right, Stans, is it? Well, you're innocent and self-proven guilty, so we're going to do a thorough investigation. But to be honest, Bridget is rather antsy and high-strung right now, jumping at every little thing and accusing everyone. Her and Asher had their prize Ditto and some other Pokemon stolen from their home recently, so she's on high alert. We have plenty of our men on the case, but if you'd like to help settle things, try talking to Bridget back at the daycare. Ooh, there's a daycare here? Oh, this is where the daycare's at? Okay, well, we have to find the Brit the daycare and then go from there. Um, I just wouldn't know how the daycare looks. Oh, there's a nice beach and everything. Let's find this daycare, which I assume is this one. Yeah, I think this is it. Yeah, buddy. Let's talk to Bridget and see what's up. Be like, hey, look, I didn't see your Pokemon. I know why you would blame me, but I didn't steal them, I promise. This is Bridget. Ah, it's you. Why? Why are you here? Are you here to steal another Pokemon? Astrid, Astrid, please help. It's the thief. You have to stop them. The strange woman hides behind the woman next to her, who you can only conclude must be Astrid herself. Bridget, please calm down. I'm so sorry. She's really on edge after our daycare got broken into, and you are... Ah, that makes a lot of sense. And as much as I'd love to believe you, you could be any kind of troublemaker. Well, I am. You know what? I tried to entrust helping Jenny to Bridget, but maybe you'd be more level-headed than she currently is. According to Jenny, there are some locals who might have seen more than they're leading on. Do you need to question them? Yeah, hell yeah, let's question them. So we had to find locals around the, the, the area. And I believe there's one in the middle of the street, right? Yeah, it's that guy. So let's talk to him, see what's up, and then uh, look for other people as well. So, let's see, let's see what you say, what do you say? Thief? Theft? I got no clue about that, I didn't see anything. Oh god, you already know Officer Jenny spoke to me? Okay, well I did. I really didn't see a whole lot, but there were some suspicious people lurking around the daycare. Uh, this was last night though, not earlier today when it supposedly happened. 
They might have been scoping the place out. It looked like they were lurking around the police station too. There might be someone around uh, there who saw them. Ooh, let's head back to the police station. Um, there has to be someone around the police station who saw things. Um, but, I mean, I didn't really see anybody else around here. Maybe it could be in that house. Oh, there's, there's, there's question marks there. Maybe it's this person. Did I see anything? Nah, not really. Uh, let's be real. You seem more suspicious than anything I've seen lately. Fine. I didn't really see anything per se, but more so that I heard something. There was muffled, muffled shatter, uh, chatter outside my house. It sounded like they were saying stuff about the daycare and checking for cops or something along those lines. I think I heard them say something about the t uh, tutory building. Maybe someone there actually saw something. Hmm. You guys are sending me on this wild goose chase. One of you guys better be right. I, you know, I, I'm going to blame everybody here. I'm going to say all you guys were a part of it. And uh, that's why all the Pokemon at the daycare got stolen. Uh, the tutory is the one with the green roof. Let's find that. And Oh, it's this one. No, this is not it. Where's the tutory? Let me find the tutory, guys, and I'll be right back. Is this me? A theft? I did overhear those merchants talk about a theft nearby. That's pretty horrible. Sounded like they actually saw it, too. Mentioned someone uh, uh, about seeing the thieves run off in multiple directions. Which directions? Hmm, either the yacht, the beach, or the caves. Who really knows? Well, I hope you can catch those thieves and achieve some justice. Good luck. Ooh, we have three locations to check now. Um, we're going to find... We're going to talk to Ashton real quick. Let her know, hey, look, this is what we found now. And uh, there more likely were multiple thieves. The thing is, though... What, what did she say? The cave? The yacht? And something else? I, I, I kind of missed out. Hopefully she has the dialogue there for her one more time. Uh, but let's let Astrid know. How did it go? Did you find anything? So they think they ran off in those directions. Sure. Okay, we can work with that. I'm sure there are people who frequent those areas. You could probably ask the next uh, them next. Beach first, of course. As for the tunnels, there's a woman in uh, town who takes frequent walks out that way, especially in the mornings. And the yacht, there's a sailor that's always on guard who has to have seen something. Hope that helps. Okay, so the tunnels, the beach, and the yacht. Okay, so we're starting with the beach first. See what's up here. Oh, is it that swimmer? Yo, you better have some info for me. You better say, uh, yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. Am I gonna have to battle you for some more info? I'm not entirely too sure. Let's see. Uh, yo, new to Brisa, make sure that you have some fun on the beach. A theft. Oh man, you think they ran this way? Well, I've been hanging out here all morning, so if it was this morning, I definitely never saw any weird thieves around here or anything. Hope you can find them, dude. So, this guy has no information. It's gonna be the tunnels. It's all gonna lead back to the tunnels, right? So if we do uh, log, it's gonna tell me to check what? Speak to the local Sonia. Local Sonia. Um, is that the first girl that we met? I, I don't know if it's the first girl that we met, but it probably is. Uh, let's try to locate her and then go from there. Uh, there's a random Lux right here. You approach, approach, approach the Luxray to hear them whimpering. The smaller one growls at you as you come closer. Keeping a distance, you find the bigger Luxray hind paw tied up in a rope trap. What? Is this a different story that I don't know anything about? I, I don't think I've unlocked that yet. But let's find Sonya. Sonya? Sonya. And then uh, continue with our, this current part of the story. I honestly have never seen a Luxray like that in my life. Please tell me this is the char character I have to speak to. It is! Ah, I saw you coming into town earlier. You got arrested? My, my heart to believe a felon is already walking about. Uh, just what are those police doing? A terrible job, I suppose. You're here to ask about the actual thieves? Well, all I've seen today is you. That crazed woman, the police, and that was all. Certainly nobody's sneaking around here. Uh, are you sure you're not the thief? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm not the thief. The final person that I have to check out with is, of course, the local Oliver, who is the guard on the yacht. Let's speak to you and see what's up. All right, Oliver, what you got for me? You got a ticket to be aboard this vessel, kid? Some sort of thieves running around. Not sure I've seen him. He lowers his voice and whispers, which is kind of tough for a man with such a gruff tone. Tone. Uh, there's some strange folks aboard. Seem they have stolen goods on them, but I was told to keep quiet. A guy had three lackeys with him. You might need to find him first before he'll talk. Be careful, kid. Ooh, they're on the boat. Oh my god, I'm on a boat. Okay. So you guys may have noticed throughout the episode, I actually have a new Pokemon. If you guys watched the uh, stream, you guys know that I trained up this Pokemon. I actually also have another Pokemon um, available to us as well. I ended up catching it during our live stream on um, on uh, the Monday. I think Monday was when we had our live stream. 
But we also have a Landorus now, which is pretty cool. And I fixed the movesets on a lot of these Pokemon. A lot of them are EV trained. Now we want to catch them up in levels. We want to make sure everybody's kind of close to the same uh, level. Which, of course, is uh, level 88, which the Charizard, Metacham, and the Electivire are at. Um, and then we could take on... I just, I can only assume Team Plasma. It has to be Team Plasma Outrage. No, we're not going to teach Outrage. Uh, and then here's level 88. Crocodile. Now level 88. And finally, it's going to be Zoroar, who's going to eat the rest of my uh, rare candies. So if you guys don't know, uh, two of my favorite Pokemon is going to be Zoroark and Electivire. Uh, hence the reason why I have them on the team. I think Landorus is also a very cool Pokemon as well. I spent a lot of money on making sure these guys are uh, well trained. And of course have the movesets that they uh, should have. So that makes me a little happy for sure. Uh, but now everybody's trained up. Let's find Team Plasma. It has to be Team Plasma, right? So let's look for them. Oh, found one already. Ooh, we started off with the Maractus. Let's go straight into Charizard. Are we on a pressure plate? I, I think we are on a pressure plate. That's the sad part. Let's go to Fire Blast. Of course, we would have messed up Fire Blast. Let's do it one more time. There we go. Taking care of you there. Uh, Hydreigon coming in. Let's go ahead and switch uh, Hydreigon on for... Medicham. Oh, he set up spikes. I didn't even notice the spikes go down. Uh, Crocodile, I guess. Uh, Stone Edge. Ooh, ooh, this might be actually tougher than I expected. Uh, Hammer Arm. Okay, da down he goes. I, I can't fix the, the, the Baratic. What can I do with Baratic? Another Hammer Arm? That's fine there. Yo, did he, did he survive when the 1 HP? It looked like he did, but he, he's dead now. Um, go into Zoroark. I think Zoroark has, um... Illusion. I could be wrong. Ooh, still alive, still alive. I'm happy there, I'm happy there. Uh, Dark Pulse. Taking care of Vanellix. And then what's next? Uh, let's go into Charizard. Jellicent's in. Uh, that's actually gonna suck for us. I'm gonna Air Slash, put a little bit of damage there. Uh, I got him to flinch, which which is all already like a good thing. Uh, another another flinch, that's cool. Oh, almost there, almost there. And he has Shadow Ball. What comes in next? A Gothitelle. Gothitelle, which is a psychic type Pokemon. Uh, let's try to put pressure with Earthquake. There's not much I can really do there. Oh, it decides to Calm Mine. Uh, Air Slash instead. I'm trying to put more pressure on his Pokemon. Ooh, these guys are really, really tough. Um, the fact that Ooh, Electivire comes in. Uh, actually, I, I'm going to use a Max Revive already. I'm going to use it on Zoroark. Uh, Electivire staying alive for the time being. I'm going to go ahead and Volt Switch. And then go into a Zoroark. Oh my god, he hit me with that? I didn't I didn't even notice that. Oh, I lost! I lost! I can't believe I lost. I, I can't believe that. I, I trained up my Pokemon, EV trained them, all this. Got them the right movesets. That pressure plate's bothering the hell out of me. Oh my god, I have to redo this. Alright, let's try this one more time. So starting off with the Maractus, we're going to go Fire Blast. Hitting it one shot, that means the spikes don't come down, which is already a good thing. Um, I think I'm in a situation where I have to let the Charizard die. However, I want to put pressure, so Focus Blast coming in. Ooh, is the Charizard... Yeah, okay, I was like, is the Charizard actually going to die, though? Um, Metacham coming in, going to Mega Evolve, going to Ice Punch. Uh, put a lot of pressure on this Hydreigon. Actually, um, should KO it. I, it just really depends if I'm faster than the Hydreigon or not. Can I actually move the camera on? I can. Um, I was not faster, but I did survive, though. Ice Punch coming in. Uh, guys, I, I don't know where... Uh, that's where I'm at, right there. That's where I'm at. So, Baratik's still alive. I'm going to go ahead and high jump kick. Uh, he has Aqua Jet? What? Okay, uh... I'm going to go ahead and Landorus, and I'm going to go ahead and Hammer Arm. And I think I'm stuck in the Hammer Arm, which is completely fine with me, because I think it puts a lot of pressure on both Vanillix and Baratek. Yeah, both going down. Uh, Gothitelle is not going to do so much for that, but I mean, it's going to put a lot of pressure. Um, I think I got some decreases there as well, if I'm not mistaken. One more Hammer Arm coming in. Oh, my speed decreases. That's my fault. That's my fault. My speed decreases. But, I mean, a, a good chunk of, of uh, HP goes down there. Zorak's going to come in. And I'm just going to go ahead and Dark Pulse. Taking care of Gothitelle. And then Jellicent's coming in. Um, I'm going to Sludge Bomb here and see how that plays out. And then go from there. I should probably Dark Pulse one more time. I really should. 
Yeah, Sludge Bomb did nothing. But the Poison comes in, which is, you know, it makes me happy at least. The Hail stops as well, Dark Pulse. Uh, putting him pretty much in, in range of dying to the Poison, of course. That's good there. And I won the battle. So I won $12, and uh, we're good to go there. So P heal for sure. First trainer is out of the way. Um, let's go look for somebody else. We gotta check all the rooms to see if anybody else is in here. So four in total is my, my understanding of how many people are here. I got ourselves a second one. Uh, I'm gonna start Charizard. I think Charizard has a uh, good coverage. Ooh, considering he has a medic, is that a shiny Metagross? Is that? It, zoom in. it is a shiny Metagross, what? Fire Blast, taking care of that Metagross. Yeah, you may have a shiny Metagross, but man, oh man. Focus Blast on the Machino, I avoid, he avoided it. And did I actually just die to that thing? What did he do to me that for me to die? I'm gonna Mega Evolve and High Jump Kick. Oh, I should have. I have Fake Out for a reason. Fake Out is such a good move. Let's try to zoom in a little bit. Uh, working with camera angles and pixel on is, is kind of rough. I don't know if any they're working on that at all. Uh, cool. High Jump Kick comes in clutch. Uh, King Clink Clang is up as up next. I'm gonna continue the High Jump Kick pressure. Uh, but of course, I avo he avoided it and I hit myself. So Lanier is coming in. Um, hammer Arm again. Just put pressure. Uh, that, I think that's it's not what I'm good for, but it, it's it's what Lanier's is doing really well. Considering a lot of their Pokemon are weak to fighting type moves, the Fake Out, yeah. I should have done that with a... Uh, ooh, Felt, what? Okay. Uh, Zork. I'm going to go ahead and Nasty Plot. And then I'm going to go ahead and Focus Blast. Nice. Can I focus blast this guy too? Yes, I can. Oh, everything's looking good here. A Swoobat, which is a flying type for sure. But are you a psychic type? Yes, it is. I, I honestly, Swoobat, I, I'm not too familiar with it, but two trainers out of the way. Zorik is a great addition to the team. I'm liking the way the team is set up now. So that's two trainers out of the way. I understand there's two more. Trainer number three, starting off with Charizard again, a Gigalith. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and Earthquake. I really didn't do anything. Oh, he set up Zelth Rocks. Okay, a lot of pressure on me. Focus Blast taking out the Gigalith for sure. He has a throw now. Um, I can go ahead and Air Slash. Man, that that really is annoying. The uh... Okay, what do I have for the, the throw? I have a Metachamp. Uh, I can Mega Evolve. Fake Out. I'm going to take advantage of a Fake Out. I have Fake Out for a reason. Um, I'm going to Fake Out first, and then I'm going to go ahead and uh, Zen Headbutt. Like, that's the best play I have here. So there's the Fake Out, making sure he's flinched. Then he's burned on top of that. And then Zen Headbutt. Taking care of him there. Uh, Sigilith coming in, which is a flying Pokemon. I'm going to try to Ice Punch. Takes... Oh, close. Close, but no cigar. Close, but no cigar. I'm going to go ahead and... Ice Punch again, down he goes. Amoongus. Amoongus is, uh, if I'm not mistaken, Amoongus is a Poisoned Grass Pokemon? It sounds about right. So let's go ahead and Zen Headbutt. And down he goes. So that was right. And plus, that was a crit. And then a uh, Scallopede, which is a Bug Poison. So I'm going to try to Zen Headbutt. Down goes Scallopede. Scallopede could have been Big Prom. Scallopede could have been Big Prom. Oh, a Seismitoad. This is pretty cool. I, I like Seismitoad as a Pokemon. Not a lot of people do. I actually do. Uh... Zen, he Zen Headbutt really is to put a lot of pressure. And I'm still alive on top of it all, so I'm going to Zen Headbutt one more time. Taking down the uh, Seismitoad and winning the battle. See, this is this is the Team Plasma I know. This is the black and white Team Plasma. So there should be one final trainer. It should be the Big Bad, and it looks like he's going to be upstairs. Is he upstairs? There's nobody here, and there's only one room. Oh, I guess there's another one room. Oh, it's Colrus! It's Colrus! You guys remember Colrus from a couple episodes ago? Actually, I think it was a long time ago. Uh, let me make sure everybody's on the same playing field. I'm gonna make sure everybody's level uh, 90. Uh, everybody's same playing field. It has to be at the same playing field because it's gonna make everything difficult. Um, honestly, I think I'm gonna start Zoroark because it, it has Illusion as an ability. Um, and if you guys don't know what Illusion does, it's actually really cool. Comes out disguised as a Pokemon in the party's last spot. So I'm going to come in like that, and it should be disguised as the Charizard. So it's a great starting Pokemon. I can set up a nasty plot and go from there. Thing has a good coverage and moveset. So here we have Colrus. 
Lestans, what a pleasure to see you again. You and your Pokemon seem to be doing quite well for yourselves. A stolen Pokemon? Yes. While it was for the purposes of our purpose of my research, I was hoping to bring out someone's potential. To think it would be you who I would meet here. Please, show me the bond you and your Pokemon share. And it is a uncommon, so I expect this guy to be very, very difficult. I do have my rare, um, not my rares, but my max revives. Let's get this battle started. A Behem to start things off. Nasty plot. What the fuck? Uh... Pursuit? Oh, God. Do I have an answer to him at this point? You turn. <sighs> Electivire? Oh, I, I can take a... No, I can't take a Psychic. Okay. Uh, U-turn. Uh, into Metacham. So he goes into Magneton, or Magnezone. I'm gonna Mega Evolve High Jump Kick. Oh, Fake Out! Why do I always forget? I can always Fake Out. Oh my god, this is a lot of pressure already. I, I honestly, I was like, I'm coming in with a smart idea. I know exactly... Ooh! Never mind. Oh, he has 30! You turn. I'm gonna go into Charizard. He has Porygon Z. At this point, at this point, I'm gonna start using my max revives. I definitely have to use my max revives. I'm gonna max revive the Zoroark. I feel like he did a lot. How does that thing one shot me? How? Uh, Hammer Arm. Taking care of him. I'm, it makes me happy. It makes me happy. Metagross coming in. Oh, yeah, it's a Mega Metagross. Oh my god, I don't think I can do this. I don't think. At least it's not shiny like the other trainer had it. Uh. Literally did nothing. Literally did nothing. What do I need? I want to Mega Evolve. Or not Mega Evolve, but I need a Max Revive uh, Charizard. I survived! That, that may open the door for me. I survived! Down you go. Uh, I want to put pressure with Charizard first and foremost. Uh, Fire Blast. So close. <gasps> but I'm still alive. I'm still alive. I need a guarantee hit, which is the Air Slash. Here comes Muck. Um, at this point, I, I kind of need a knockout for that Muck. And that would be in the form of Medicham for sure there. Um, and now I can come into Medicham. And of course, just uh, Fake Out for sure to start things off. Get that chip damage in. And then Zen Headbutt. Oh, he still has a KO. And of course, we died to that so easily. Croc. Uh, see, I, I have two different things here. I don't even know how many Pokemon he has left. I don't think Pursuit's going to KO. Knock off? Oh, yeah, Shadow Sneak. Knock off KOs. But he's into a Cling Clang now. So la that's a lot of pressure already. Uh, Max Revive again on the Landorus. And, and hopefully things work out in my favor here. Um, let's go Knock Off. Half Health. I've got rid of the uh, the leftovers as well. Landers comes in. Hammer arm. We won the battle. Oh my god. I honestly didn't think that was going to happen. Honest, I was not in a situation where I felt comfortable that I was going to win that battle. That was tough. I thought I was being cheeky with my plays right at the start of things with Zoroark. And then he goes down immediately. Oh, the Crocodile goes down immediately. It was a lot of pressure there. A lot of pressure. Wonderful. Well done. After much research, you were the trainer I had hoped out along to meet. Team Plasma? Oh yes, I work very closely with them. I'm a scientist researching how to bring out the power of Pokemon. However, Plasma set on the idea that we should liberate Pokemon from humans to find their potential. I disagree. I believe it is humans who are the ones who will bring out a Pokemon's hidden potential. Okay. Part of my research has brought my group here. However, it seems my associates wanted to free all of their Pokemon. I was led to believe that a Pokemon by the name of Meltem may be here to be one of the first to research, research it. Wait, was it this? What? However, my associates grabbed that poor breeder's ditto instead. My apologies for acting in such an abhorrent way. Please take them back to their rightful owner. Thank you for helping me, Stans. I hope to see you again one day. Thank you for showing me your strength. I hope that we can meet again one day. I'm going to pee heal real quick. And then a forward slash log. 
Return to Astrid. Oh, we got a shiny lucky block because I've been active for one day. Let's go, baby. We're gonna open that up at the end of this uh, this episode. And if it's a shiny legendary, I'm gonna give it to you. We'll give it away to you guys, which is pretty cool. Uh, but let's head out of here and head back to Astrid. I will be right there. Hey, Astrid. Our Pokemon, Stan, thank you. You really proved your worth, huh? Is that so? A Pokemon named Meltan? Never heard of it before. I suppose I can see what he was getting at. Well, whether or not that's true, or you're just making some crazy story up, it certainly cleared your name. I appreciate your help. I'm sure Bridget would like to apologize as well. What's up, Bridget? Ditto and our Pokemon, you really weren't the thief. I'm so sorry for accusing you as soon as we met. Anyway, I'll get these guys settled back in. Thanks for your help. You should probably go tell Jenny about finding our Pokemon. She'll want to know all about it. Sure, sure, sure. I'll go let her know. But I mean, it still makes things fishy because nobody actually got arrested. So it kind of makes it seem like I was just trying to clear my name and I decided to give the Pokemon back. Well, that's not the best look that I have. You know what I mean? I, I want to be the good guy, but I don't want to be the good guy that may have a questionable alternative agenda. Ah, Stans, I kind of expected you to just run away or something. You found their Pokemon? What a relief. Please fill me in on all the details so I can follow a report. Hmm. What a strange situation. Well, I greatly appreciate your help. Hopefully that will be the end of that. Actually, before you get going, I'd like to ask you for one more thing. What? Is that the is that the start of the next thing? No, it's it's we're still in chapter 12. Let's talk to you. You've proven yourself to be incredible uh, incredibly capable, so I'd like to ask for one more thing. Our poor city has a very pesky poacher problem. We try our best to ward them off. However, they still manage to do harm to the poor wild Pokemon who are having a hard time fending for, for themselves. Astrid is very familiar with the whole situation. If you go, uh, please go speak with her again. Okay. Is that the start of chapter 13 or is it we're still making it happen? Ooh, it looks like we're still making it happen. I, you know what? I'm, I'm down to continue this episode. If it's a little bit of a longer episode, it's a little bit of a longer episode. That's completely fine with me. But let's go speak with Astrid about this situation. What's up, Astrid? What up, girl? Hey, I didn't just steal your Pokemon and come back. Oh, Stance, back so soon? Uh, poachers, yes. I'm uh, very aware of those cruel monsters. I won't ask you to deal with the poachers yourself. That's far too dangerous. But you could help. Could you help us treat the Pokemon? There are quite a few around Brissa Cape on the beach, in the trees, in the savannah, that are probably hurt and suffering. Please take these supplies with you and treat the Pokemon with them accordingly. Okay, so what do we have? Uh, we have a shears, bread, and I swear I thought she gave us more stuff. I swear she gave us more stuff. Maybe it's just these two, these two things. So I, I, the Luxor that you guys saw earlier today, I, ha I, I, I can only assume that's one of the Pokemon. So we're going to head over there. Actually, let's check the log real quick. See what the log tells us. Find and help six Pokemon around Brisa. Ooh, that's that's actually quite a bit. There's one on the on that tree. Do you guys see that? There's one on that tree. Let's get on our Charizard and ride up there. That's a Farfetch'd. Oh, okay. It's the Farfetch that I saw coming in. I was like, oh, that's, that's pretty unique. Yeah, I didn't expect the Char the, far the Farfetch'd. So let's speak to the Farfetch, see what's up. I didn't mean to throw it. Uh, seems like the Farfetch landed in the tree and immediately slumped over. Even though you tried to encourage it to move, it seems as though its muscles are uh, paralyzed. Okay. Um, we need full heal. Okay, after the paralysis is healed, the Farfetch hops back onto its feet with ease. Squawking on you and thanks. It spins its signature leak at you and flies away. Okay, so that should be one of them, right? One so far? I, I want to say so. I want to say so. Let's, let's try to move this real quick and talk to it. Okay, yeah. It has flown away. That is one. Uh, the Luxray is over here. Let's go grab that. Is that a Mega Gardevoir? It is. It is a Mega Gardevoir. Um, I would love to battle you, but I don't have time to do that right now. So let's speak to you real quick. Um... You approach the Luxray to hear them whimpering. The smaller one growls at you as you come closer. Keeping a distance, you find the bigger Luxray hind paw tied up in a rope. Click to proceed. Uh, okay. Do I do a, a shears? Oh, what the hell happened here? Okay, item required is the shears. Let's go ahead and do that. You approach the Luxray slowly with the shears and move carefully to cut it free. After it's free, they both glance at you cautiously with what you could determine is a thankful look. Then race away. Click to proceed. So the pair of Luxray have run away to a safer location. So that's two out of six. 
We have four more to go. I know the beach is a location. Savannah is a location. So we're going to keep doing our uh, searches. And uh, should, we should come back fairly uh, simply, quickly. I guess that's the word. Pokemon number three is going to be a Rhyhorn and a Rhydon. So what's up with the Rhyhorn? So uh, as you close in on the parrot, you can hear the Rhydon is crying in sorrow. Uh, carefully walking closer, you notice the Rhyhorn whimpering and in pain. Parts of its horns broken off. Oh, it's fucked up. That's pretty messed up, actually. So it requires a potion. I have some potion for you. So let's go ahead and use the potion. The parrot seem at ease with your approach and you bring out bandages and the potion. Assessing the right horn's damage, you spray it down with the potion and wrap it with the bandages where necessary. The pair cry at you joyfully and the right on nudges you with its horn and thanks. Click to proceed. Cool. So you should be good to go. That's three Pokemon down. This one actually hurts because Rhydon is one of my favorite Pokemon. And, oh, oh my god, that's so mean. That is so mean. Let's go find some more. Some Mega Charizard. Puku Muku is Pokemon number four. So uh, the sea cucumber looks to be immobilized in its spot. Its innards hanging out of its mouth dis disgustingly. You spot a dart near the Puku Muku and inspect it, diagnosing that it must have been poisoned. So what we need to do here is, of course, it, uh, access it with a, a full heal. Drop that full heal here. Uh, spray the Puku Muku down with the full heal. Lifts the poisoning and it hops in spot, looking all better already. You decide to help it back into the ocean with its friend and watch them float down to the sea floor. So click to proceed. Pokemon number four is out of the way. Pokemon number five is, of course, Wimpod. Look at that Wimpod hiding there. So, um, Wimpod, with your approach towards the Wimpods, they freak out and hide underneath the pier. You stand still and wait to see if they'll come forward, and after the time passes and the bigger the pair approaches you. It sniffs at you cur uh, curiously, uh, then starts jumping at your leg, almost looking like it's begging for food. Ooh, this is where the bread comes in. Um, let's give you some bread. You offer up the loaf of bread to the Wimpod, and it grabs it and scurries back under the pier. The pair vacuum up that bread, race back to you, rubbing their plated faces against your legs like a cat. You can only assume they're thankful for the food. So you guys are good to go. That is Pokemon number five, and we only have one other Pokemon to look for. I think we the best bet is to just look around. Um, I kind of expect it to be on the tree. Um, that's just me. So I, I don't know. I, I just got to keep looking around. We'll, I'm, I'm sure we'll find something. Oh, found the last Pokemon. This is actually really cool. The Nido King and Nido Queen. Let's see what's up. How close do I have to get? There it is. I was like, how close do I have to get to this? Nido King. The group of Pokemon seem very uh, seem wary of your approach. The Nido King showing some force and roaring at you, but it takes no time for it to collapse on one knee weakly, uh, looking to be in pain. At a big glance, a quick glance, it seems to be covered in painful wounds. Ooh, ooh. Click the item to proceed, which is the potion. The Nido King braces under the potion spray, looking ready to lash out at you. The potion begins to soothe the wounds and heal it, helping him relax as he growls at you almost in thanks. So we gotta collect that. So all the Pokemon have been helped. From my understanding, they have. So fine. Wait, was that not six? I swear to God, that's six Pokemon. Maybe that was five. Ooh, maybe that was only five. So wait, let me let me check at this point. So we had the Rhyhorn, which is one. We had the Luxray, which is two. We had the uh, Farfetch, which is three. The Wimpod, which is four. Uh, Pukumuku, which is five. I guess it is only five. Oh, so there's still one more Pokemon to look for. Oh my god. Wait, but I don't have anything else to help with. Do I? No, I don't. What? Wait, okay, count them again. So it's Nino King, Luxray. Farfetch'd, Rhyhorn, Pukumuku, and Wimpod. No, that's six Pokemon. I should be good to go. What? What is going on? What's going on? I should be good to go. What does this guy say? The group of Pokemon seem rather thankful for you. I, I should have done them all. All of them should be good to go. What is going on? Let's how about let's go back and speak to um Astrid, right? That, that's who we need to speak to. Let's go back and speak to Astrid, make sure everything seems to be good. From my understanding, it seems like it, because we've hit six Pokemon. There's three right here, the Rhyhorn over here, Pikamuku, and then the Wimpod. Yeah, that's six Pokemon. I've, I've helped six Pokemon. I should be fine. I should be fine. Let's, let's head back over to Astrid, uh, speak to her, to her, and then we'll have a little bit more answers. All right, Astrid. So you helped all the wild Pokemon. Incredible. Thank you uh, very much for your help. You thoroughly proved yourself, so please accept my appreciation. 
You've been an invaluable help to Brissa. You helped the Pokemon save my livelihood. What is it that you can't do? Well, don't let me hold you up any longer. Jenny will probably want to be filled in on the situation. You're probably ready to get move, uh, get a move on, so you should go. Yeah, I'm trying to go to the Elite Four. Come on. I'm trying to go to the Elite Four. I, I, I want to beat the Pokemon League at this point. Actually, I don't know if I'm, I'm going to be ready, though. I'm, I'm going to be quite honest with you guys. Um, it was kind of scary uh, that this this these battles with Team Plasma with Colrus and stuff. You took care of the wild Pokemon. Thank you so much for all your help. Um, not only do I and Astrid and Bridget, no doubt, appreciate your help, but I'm sure the Pokemon are thankful to you as well. You've been a great help here. I'll be cheering you on in the Elite Four. Good luck out there. Where do I go for that? <laughs> Where do I go for the Elite Four? I'm assuming that I finished up though, right? Yep, we have finished Chapter 12, so Chapter 13 is Visit the Elite Four. How would I li visit the Elite Four? I'm in a loss of words. But I think uh, we're going to open up the Shiny Lucky Block and call it a day here with today's episode. So I know we're going to get a Shiny. If we get a Shiny Legendary Pokemon, of course, this is going to be a giveaway for you guys. Um, what, what am I going to get? What am I going to get? A Fracture. A uh, Fracture is a pseudo-legendary, but it's not necessarily legendary, so... Won't be giving that away, to be honest. I'll probably just wonder trade it. But that's going to be it for today's video, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. Make sure to click the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Turn on that notification bell so you never miss an upload. Of course, follow me over on Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash noleaksluie uh, for a bunch of live content if you guys don't want to miss any. And, of course, link to that and the rest of my socials will be in the description below. With that out of the way, I'll see you guys later. Peace!